guys. Welcome to Better Bachelor. My name is Joker with a face for radio and a voice for print. Um, you'll notice I'm probably going to put up three videos here in very short order, and you might have to look closely and say, wait, did I already watch that one? Because all three stories are very closely related, even though they're completely different stories. This first one I'm going to jump into uh, is about a, a woman who's been viewed half a million times on Twitter telling other women how to cash out when getting divorced as a level up. And what's interesting, and, and I'll get more into it here in a second, what's interesting is she makes it sound like the housewife that apparently wants maids and barely does anything around the house deserves half of everything a man provides and makes for the family. And this is common that you'll hear a lot of times that, well, if he's an executive and he goes out and makes $20 million and she was by his side taking care of the kids and, and, and being there for the family, she deserves $10 million. But then, so is her, is, is her job equal to his in that case? Doesn't matter because you need to use that as a level up. That's the first story I, I'm going to jump into today. The second one, more women are now wanting longer relationships, but most men don't. Why? Because of the previous woman that we're going to talk about. This is a completely different story. And the third one is men are boycotting single moms more than ever. And the women are now complaining men need to do better and step up. It's just overwhelming. I just can't believe the craziness. So this first gal here, I'm not sure if I can zoom up the, no, I can't because that's how, that's how Twitter works. Doesn't matter. There's not much to see here other than you can see this is a gal dressed up very nicely. Um, she's a, a pretty woman, I would say. And she says, make a divorce, cha-ching, always leave richer. Now, it's not about, hey, you know what, being supportive and, and making sure that you're taken care of. No, ladies, you need, to, you need to level up on your divorce. You need to get out there and get it. Now, here's what's interesting. You'll notice down here it's been viewed 570,000 times, and she only got 141 likes on it. Now, why? why? Because she locked the replies, and only people that she mentions can reply. And, and what is her... her what is her quaint, uh, claim to fame? Queen Bee tweets, CEO, social, now here's, here's what she's CEO of, her own social media and her own business that tells women how to level up on divorce, I guarantee you. Social political commentator, okay, good, good, good for you. She only has 16,000 uh, 16, followers. So with only 16,000 followers, you might say, well, how did this get viewed 570,000 times? Because it's been quote tweeted and, and plastered all over the place and people are, are roasting her into the ground. But this is still the mindset that a lot of women are following, and men see this and they're like, if this is how women are, even though there's not a lot of likes, even though there's not a lot of attention, I mean, a lot of people are seeing it, but not a lot of people agree with it. Men are just like, why would we get it? Like, I don't wanna accidentally get a woman like this. So, so let's listen to her level up speech and uh, hear the warnings. And this is again, why men are saying, no more to serious relationships. We're recording. Okay, so as I seem to be on a roll today, right, about speaking my mind, earlier on in the office we had this conversation and a couple of people raised the point that women sometimes can have the short end of the straw during the divorce and they're the ones that end up with the children and some of the men don't contribute, provide maintenance and etc. And the women end up worse. This is what I want to say. I'm going to pause right there. Did you hear... Did you hear how she and says she that women end up worse? Because women end up with the kids and they end up getting maintenance and other monies. She views the children as punishment in this scenario. As well, the women end up with the kids. And I'm, I'm going to play that again. This, I really want you to listen to the way she, because this is how a lot of women are thinking now. That the women end up with the kids. That's a bonus if you ask me. And she's saying, oh, maintenance and everything else. And like, how, how are you stuck if you end up getting the kids and the money and the income? Well, because I still have to take the kids to get this money, you see. Earlier on in the office, we had this conversation and a couple of people raised the point that women sometimes can have the short end of the straw during the divorce and they're the ones that end up with the children and some of the men don't contribute, provide maintenance and etc. And the women end up worse. This is what I want to say. Okay, so she's saying 
the women get the kids and they get the short end of the straw because of the, I guess, no maintenance or no money coming in. Again, I'm pretty sure if you asked most men, hey, uh, even if you have to juggle work and your life around the kids, would you rather have the kids or let them go off with the wife and you don't pay maintenance? Maybe I'm wrong, but I still think a lot of men would be like, no, I, I'd rather have the kids than not because a lot of guys are forced out of their kids' lives. Any marriage relationship is a risk. It's about mitigating those risks. Women, you can leave a marriage rich. That's why the marriage was okay. It's okay to break up because you left the marriage richer than you were. And the way to do that is to make sure that when you went into the relationship, that's what you both wanted. You wanted to build something together. If it doesn't work out, you get to take your share. So now some of you might say, well, this doesn't sound too crazy. I mean, but listen to what she's saying. You can leave richer. Now, are, are women commonly marrying men that are at the same level or lower than them? Not very often. If the man's worth less than her and uh, they get together and he watches the kids, there's a whole lot of women that are screaming that it's unfair. They need to pay, pay the man child support. So what's she really talking about here? She's talking about, ladies, if you can marry a guy that is more successful and you quote unquote build your lives together, then you can leave richer than when you entered it. So it's okay to divorce and not feel bad about it. Okay, so you thought- Here's the next segment of it. It was going to be the happily ever after. He was gonna be the man, didn't end up being your man. You know what? As long as you come out of the marriage or the relationship richer than you were before, it was worth it. You know, I get it, you'll feel sad, but trust me, you will feel sadder if you leave a situation broke or with not anything you know that's even more depressing so it's about using the intellect going into a marriage and a relationship knowing that it's still a risk and mitigating it it's very very simple so if it doesn't work out you can leave richer than you were before simple as it doesn't always have to be a sad story or a bad ending there can always be something really positive out of divorces and the end of the breakdown of a relationship that's all i'm saying so it all depends on how and which mindset you went in with so you have to have the mindset of what am i going to get out of this going into the marriage and you might be a little sad but as long as you have money and you can take money from him and maybe the kids then there's nothing to be sad about. It's not a sad day. Oh, oh well, marriage didn't work out, but you get to take so much of his money, and if you're better off than you were before you entered the marriage, well, everything's just fine now. See, this view is what has ruined marriage. This view is what has ruined relationships today. It's what am I going to get out of this? What are the takeaways if it fails? If you're walking into a marriage planning your exit strategy before you even say I do, fellas, I guarantee you, she is going to exit at some point. And, and this is exactly the type of woman that will say, oh, he did bad things and he was inappropriate and so I should get extra money and I definitely should keep the kids and I need enough, and, but I'm gonna keep my career, you see. So I need enough that I can keep working, but also have a nanny or someone that I can hire to stay home with the kids when I have to work, and that is gonna be a better deal than keeping them with the, with the husband. Now you can say as much as you want about, yes, women should get something when they eg exit a marriage if they're a provider at home, and he's the one that brings home all the money. I have no problems with women getting enough to, to get out their own and start their own life again, but it should be hard. It shouldn't be a golden parachute and cash and prizes on the exit. It should be hard. And why should it be hard? Because if it's too easy, people take the easy way out. And again, it's not to say that the kids shouldn't be taken care of or that she doesn't get enough maybe to get on her feet for a limited amount of time. But like in California, these kids are getting, in some cases when these rappers or entertainers or football or baseball stars are getting divorced, these kids are getting $50,000 a month. Now the kids don't see that, I guarantee you, because no child in the world can spend $50,000 a month. What's happening is that's going to mama, and then she's probably buying, you know, 
even if she bought designer clothing for her kid, you know, once a season, that's what, five, ten thousand dollars The rest is going into her pocket. She's leveling up. It's not going to the kids. So, so why upon a divorce does child support need to be that much? And why does it need to be 18 years? And why does alimony in the case of California need to be like for life until she starts working again? We've made it so easy for divorce now that there is no incentive for men to even get into it. Anyway, to so the next time. This is her last clip of it. I'm in the office, right? And then I've got a couple of these women going, boo-hoo, I'm getting a divorce. Oh, he's being really horrible. And I don't know what to do. And you know, all of that kind of stuff. Forgive me, like I really, really do feel for you because separation and divorce is really hard. But you weren't smart. You still have to be smart. Women need to stop falling for this idea of this romanticized relationship and he's going to love me forever because there's a chance that shit's going to hit the fan. And when it does, you've got to be ready and you've got to be prepared. So think about leaving a situation richer. That's all I'm going to say. So don't, don't, don't fall in love. Don't think of this as you know, a fairy tale or a loving moment or a, a chance to perhaps find the right partner to, you know, to give to him and become a member of the family and actually give it. No, no, no. Don't be stupid. Don't fall in love. Don't, you know, don't expect this to last forever. Plan for the bailout and act accordingly. Now, whether you agree that women should get something on the exit of a divorce forever or for a little bit of time, or for a, a short bit of time, she exemplifies everything that's wrong with the marriage system today, which is, this doesn't have to be forever. Don't, don't worry about falling in love. Don't worry about committing to somebody. Be ready for the bailout. And then when it goes south, grab your, your money bag and run. And again, this, this has not been liked very much. There's a lot of comments in here that are like, you know, what a shame. This is the very reason why men are choosing not to marry anymore. People like you and the current divorce laws, which side mostly with women, have ruined uh, men's lives and exploited relations. Guys, if you're reading this, get a prenup before you marry. I'd, I'd go even further. I still say don't get married until the laws change. That has 545 likes. Her original vi video has 141 likes. Poor take. Learn the religion before spouting words for the sake of clicks online. 515 likes. Respectfully disagree. Getting to keep the children is not the short straw. You get the children, you have everything. You're putting too much emphasis on how happy money can make you in a divorce, especially when kids are involved. Money is pretty low on the list. And I'm not even going to read her replies because who cares? We've gotten her take on it. So guys, here's the the important takeaway. Okay. I, so as I, I don't wait. Shush. Stop. Stop. Shush. Shush. Shut it. Here's the important thing out of all this stuff, I feel, is that when, when divorce is so easy, when marriage is now a state-sanctioned event rather than taking a vow, a meaningful vow before, you know, God, it, it, it's always, it, it always seems to end poorly now. I mean, the, the divorce statistics are awful. The marriage statistics are awful. There's got to be a point in time where marriage just becomes meaningless. And I think it's already there. It is so easy to get a divorce now that marriage basically is meaningless. And you might say, well, but for the kids or she doesn't care about the kids. Most of these women don't. There's a lot of women that, that will say, hey, dad needs to st still be in his lives. But as soon as they realize they can get extra 500 bucks a month per kid from him in child support, because these women are not, you know, women like this isn't dating a deadbeat. She's going to say, wow, $12,000 a year from, or uh, yeah, $12,000 a year. Uh, the kid is five, so that's 13 more years. Man, that's uh, what, $157,000 more over the course of, yeah, he's a horrible person and I'll keep him. And what do they do with that 12 grand more a year? They just hire a nanny. That way they don't have to take care of the kids, but they get the kids for the good parts and not have to deal with the bad parts. The father's out of the picture. Everything is too easy. And until that changes, 
Men are just going to casually do the casual thing. And that's where my next video, as a matter of fact, let me click on the button here again. That's where my video, next video comes into play. Um, is this one right here. More women now want a long-term relationship, but most men don't. Men see the game and they're done with it. And they're out. So I'll have this next video up here for you shortly. We'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.